Hey guys, what's up? You're watching a review of The Wolf Among Us. Please like the video, comment below, and subscribe. Hello there, guys. What's up? It's DMichael of here to give you a review of The Wolf Among Us. Actually, I got this game on my PlayStation 3, actually. And... I've been playing it also on my iOS. You can see it in the camera right there. Actually, you can see past the screen. So, I'm not gonna like play the game for you guys. I might do that maybe as a play episode. I might actually start doing that actually from now on. Let me just put like the camera right here. And watch it, make you watch it, make you guys watch me play. Not like an evil type of thing, like torture, but you know, that type of thing. So, The Wolf Among Us. Hang on. You know, for me, I actually like having notes so I can memorize what I said about the game. You know, I don't like to be flapping stuff in and out of my mouth for no reason. So, how is The Wolf Among Us? You can't see it, can you? Is that better? Good. So, The Wolf Among Us is an uh, RPG pick your decision game from Telltale Games. They made Walking Dead. And they made The Wolf Among Us so far. Two episodes. But I'm reviewing episode one today. Just for the fun of it. So. The Walking... Um, the Wolf Among Us. I must say. I didn't really know that much about it. I heard it was based on some type of comic book franchise. But. I never really knew that. I never actually read the comics. So here I go with this review. And here... And let's begin. The story in this game. You will be playing as Big B Wolf. The Sheriff of Fateful Town. Which is this fictional town... In basically New York so it's like you see like the Bronx and all that type of stuff in the game so but the story here is really about fables being kicked out of their homelands like three little pigs um, and fairy tale characters as well like the big bad wolf woodsman all those characters they kicked out of the woods land and they just have to live in New York and to deal with it and Big B Wolf over here is basically a sheriff of the town surprisingly the big bad wolf is the sheriff of the town so the story is, this is actually a prequel, actually, to the Fable comic book series. Which is going to be considered a good thing for some people, where they just wanted to be part of the series as well, but who knows. The, screen, the game's story revolves around Big B as he has to deal with a murder case that happens in the front of his doorstep as he's trying to relax. Not in, in his apartment, but like in front of where he works at his headquarters. So he basically, it happens there, and it basically revolves around this type of character that's been like missing for a few years or something like that and it basically continues on as he has to try to figure out who is doing this and why why is this person killing people and what does that have to do with anything basically so i'm gonna say right now the game right now as you could say story-wise it has some of the greatest writing that tesla's ever done in a really long time don't get me wrong walking dead's dialogue as well was really great but this one, playing as Big B, like two or three times throughout the game, is just fun because of how they wrote Big B Wolf in this game. As you can see here, it's just uh, him walking around. I'm not gonna be playing actual game footage. Maybe do that in another episode, but not here. Back to the story. It's a great story actually. It has a lot of great uh, like moments of intensity. That, but it doesn't really do that much, like like violence. But it does have enough enough of it. I'll get to that later. But back to story-wise, this involves, like I said before, meeting fairy tale characters like Beauty and the Beast. You meet them in the first 10 or 20 minutes of the game. Then you see Snow White. You see Archibald Crane. One of the three little pigs. You see Toad, Woodsman, and all, all types of characters, basically. It's amazing to see Telltale put so many characters in this game that it makes the atmosphere of the Wolf Among Us just amazing. Do I look a little grainy in my face? I think it's because it's dark. Maybe if I lighten it up. But who knows. Back to story-wise. The story, like I said. But I love Bigby as the main character. In The Walking Dead, I played as Lee. And I had to protect the child and make choices of her. But to, by my game play walkthroughs. I actually made my choices to protect her. So I didn't really do all the bad things. But in The Wolf Among Us, you're just a, a sheriff. Who has to know when is not his limits. And what is his limits. In this game, I did things... That I'd never actually done before. Like, done bad things in the game. I played it once on PS3. And I played it two or three times on iOS. And I really love it. The intensity of the character. And what he does. As, like, his choices. 
are intense, and I love that. It's just amazing. I played once as a guy who knew how to control his anger, but then I played uh, uh, in the first walkthrough. But then the second walkthrough, I played as a guy who just lost it. He just went crazy, started hitting people, and started disrespecting everyone. I love that about this game. I love that about Telltale in general, that they know how to make games of choices between it. They don't re rely on the same path. They may go in the same direction, but there's different crossroads and different intersections, which is really cool about this game, story-wise. It has a great replayability on its own. The game will take you about 95 to 120 minutes to beat, which is basically an hour and a half It's two hours. For me, it took me two hours because I went a little exploring, basically trying to find, look at all things, even if they didn't matter to the case. I still looked for them just for the fun of it. And also, it's just really fun to play, actually. You can play over and over and see different outcomes, even if they end at the same, and same point, you know? And I must say, a lot of games have cliffhanger endings that just, they don't do it right. They do it horrible at times. But for this game, it does a great job of doing a cliffhanger ending properly. Amazingly well done, I must say. This really made me want to play the other episodes, which are already out, which is Smoke and Mirrors, which came out in February. So if you don't, if you have another five bucks on you and you already played the first one, buy the second one because that I'll do a review on that tomorrow or on Friday. But I'll be doing this um, today. I'm reviewing Wolf Among Us episode one called Faith, which I actually played through. Um, the, the other DLCs will, episodes will be coming out later on throughout the year. So let me show you. Just sort of fun, I like to show you guys that stuff. So, Faith is already, I already added all of that. I just, I could buy Smoke and Mills right now. And then there's the Crooked Mile, and Sheep's Clothing and Crying Wolf. This is going to be released throughout the year. Um, the walking, uh, I think next month we will have a Crooked Mile for sure. And then, hang on a second. And then in June, I might have in sheep's clothing, and then in August, it'll end, maybe. Who knows? I don't know. I think that's the plan I think is going on. But overall, story-wise, some of the best storytelling in the game, some of the great plot twists and turns in the game, and just great, like, um, just great dialogue overall. It, this game made me just gasp, like, like, surprise. A surprise look. It doesn't really happen to me that much. I mean, Walking Dead, it made me cry. The ending made me cry. I'll be honest, I cried at the end of that game. But in this one, it's just amazing how they pull you into the story in this game. The atmosphere is intense. It's dark, gloomy. It has that intensifying look that sometimes if you go into this town, you might be injured But when you leave. Now, on to gameplay. Gameplay is similar to The Walking Dead's formula. You move the left analog stick to walk Big B around. You need the right analog stick to move the camera around certain areas so you can look for things like look for, um, how can I say it? Anything, basically. And then there's the face buttons. Um, basically, you can use the interactions. Things like picking up uh, matches, uh, opening a door, or punching a guy in the face. That type of thing. Then there are little, um, just like uh, Telltale's other games, like Walking Dead, it's all the same. So you don't feel a, a wrong sense of feel. Like, this game feels... The controls are terrible. In my opinion, the controls are spot on. So those who are saying the combat in this game, which I'll get limited to in a few minutes, are horrible. They must be having some problems with their controller, number one. Or number two, they just don't like con like consoles. They must like PCs or iOS, because iOS, I was precise with the controls. It was really fun playing with the iOS. Even though I had to type on a few times, like do something like this. I'm, I'm reviewing this, so I'm, I'm using my iOS as a recorder, so big deal. Overall, now, let's see what more notes I have. They, they do, like, investigation blood on walls, and that's what the face buttons are for. You, like, the, in case you guys don't know what face buttons are, it's triangle, you know, triangle, square, circle, and X. Those are face buttons. And the directional pad, you know what directional pads are. Okay. Um, the Wolf Among Us has some, actually, some of the best action scenes in the game. Makely, they are just amazing, in my opinion. They're actually kind of, kind of like movie scenes, like m intense movie or TV show scenes, when you're si like you're shooting the camera and you're basically in close and personal with the action. So, the first five minutes is an action scene. You basically are basically Big B. A little bit of a spoiler if you haven't played it, 
I don't know why. Maybe because you don't have internet, like, you don't have a PlayStation account or Xbox Live account, which is ridiculous. The first five minutes, Big Man has to fight the Woodsman, or Woody, he calls him. He, he's basically called Woody. And it's amazing how they choreographed and shot that scene. It's amazing to see it happen. Like, you could, like, throw him at the couch, you could throw him at the sink. You could throw him on his bed, like, this bed with strings, just punch him and pulp, beat him to a pulp at that, in that scene. It's amazing to see that type of intensity. Like, The Walking Dead, we didn't see that much action. We saw intensity and drama. And then we saw little bits of action. But this shows big action and big bursts. I mean, the game gets even more intenser the more you play, like, towards the end. I'm not going to spoil what happens there. But I made a choice where I just basically went berserk, I must say. And I loved it. I don't really like being a bad guy in games. But in this game, you kind of feel like you already are the bad guy because everyone hates you in town. You're the big bad wolf. You killed Little Red Riding Hood in your past. Or, um, you had done some other bad things as a big bad wolf, like the three little pigs. And all those other stories, they all, like, all have an effect on you as a sheriff. They kind of disrespect you. They say, go F off or go eat, oh, go eat dog shit or something like that. Basically, curse you, disrespect you. And I love that as in Big B, you're trying to just like trying to calm down and they don't listen. You beat them to a pulp. I love that about this game. Of the gameplay and the intensity of it. I love that. It's amazing. Now, the music may be repetitive a little bit, but big deal. It's a menu. Um Yes. But don't worry, you're not gonna be fighting all the time. Like I say. But the only problem with the fighting on action, I may say, is the frame rate. The frame rate it'll get a little framey, so like when you're intense, like or if, like doing a directional like swipe. Or like something like this, or like moving up and down with the analog stick, it'll freeze a few sec, like a second or two, and then it'll just come back in. These will pull you out of the game's atmosphere a little bit due to you want to be in full investment, you don't want to stop. But that doesn't matter to me because as soon as that second disappeared, I was pulled right back in. It didn't matter to me because I loved it overall. But you're not going to be fighting that much, like I said before. Instead, you're going to be talking and doing a little bit of that, that little quick time events, like I said before. Fighting and talking in this game is crucial. You can get like, uh, figure out lies. You can figure out, it's kind of like LA Noir a little bit like this game because you're a tech, like a sheriff. You have to protect the town. So it's a little bit like that. Another thing is, there's no fail cases or you did a good job pass. It's all based on choice. And I always love making choices in video games. It's like RPGs are like something I love, like Mass Effect. Um, other games like Elder Scrolls, Skyrim, all those other RPGs that are intensifying. They're fun because I decide what I want to do. And Telltale understands that perfectly with this game, The Walking Dead. They did a great job with it. It's why it was such big games. And they really pulled me in. I mean, Walking Dead was my game of the year, 2012. I didn't do a 2013 video, but big deal. I mean, Wolf Among Us and Walking Dead, new season, really is doing good so far, in my opinion. Back to gameplay. Um... I must say right now that the quick time, that a lot of people hate quick time events. Say, oh, I'm actually about, I'm actually about, I'm about, and move that type of stuff. But I don't care. Because quick time events, in my, in my opinion, are perfected by Telltale based on how you do the gameplay. Like, in, like for example, the fighting scenes, you gotta tap that button to survive, like a choke or something, like, or try to push him off you. That's cool. That's cool quick time events. Uh, it just works well in these games. I don't know why. But in other games, people will complain and bitch about it. But it's okay in this game. Why? I love it overall. Don't get me wrong. I love these quick time events. They're perfected by Tilta, in my opinion. And I love that. You know? It's just amazing to see. Now, gameplay-wise, it's a must. It's just fun to play. It's just great. Like, you feel like you're a detective. The intensity and action is great. The only problem is the frame rate slows down a little bit. But you get pulled right back in. Now, visually, the game has a cel-shaded cel type of look to it. Kind of like The Darkness 2 and The Walking Dead. And Borderlands. The series of Borderlands. I'm not going to say Borderlands 2. Come on. Both of them. So, what they're getting here is that they're using the cel-shaded in a lot of their games. And I love it. I mean, the cel-shaded looks look. It makes it feel like a comic book. Kind of like The Walking Dead's video game. It feels like a comic book. You pull, you're fully invested into it. And I love that. The graphics are really good for... Current last gen console to a lot of people. I still think it's current gen because people are still making games for it. Come on, um, but it still looks amazing on the consoles. PS3 and 360. 
Um, I didn't. A lot of people said there was freezing problems or like the game froze and had to restart it. I didn't experience that with my uh, version, which was PS3, Xbox 360. Uh, I didn't play it on that, um, but I heard that there's more problems on that. Big deal. Either way, you buy it, it's still fun. Even on PC, it's amazing. I didn't get to play it on PC. I do. I put an HDMI cord from PlayStation 3 into my PC, so that's what, how you get this footage. Here. Um, let me just say right now, visually, it's a great game. Voice acting wise, top notch. Some great acting in this game. Amazing, as I say. The music is great. Has that noir fiction type of feel to it. And the game kind of is like a noir film. Um, sound design is great when you hear like someone make a fish punch like like that. You will feel that like punch sound or like when someone throws glass or like you're creaking. All of that is just perfected. The only thing is frame rate. That's the only problem in this game for me. That's it. But I love this overall. And I must say, I think I covered over everything. Story, gameplay, music, visuals. I don't need to say anything else. In case you see my, my opinion and my face, and what I said throughout this entire video, I love this game. I love it. I love The Wolf Among Us. And I can't wait until the rest of the episodes come out over time for me to buy it and get fully invested in it. I, I want to be invested. Now, out of 10, the final verdict of this game. Let's just go over the pros for a second. Pros. Games, great writing. The script, top notch. Some great uh, quotes. It could be just smart, humor, dark, and so much more. Number two, the gameplay. It's just like Walking Dead, but it has a more mysterious, noir type of feel to it, which is a new type of thing. It doesn't feel repetitive at all. Uh, story wise, great. Great cliffhanger ending, I must say, really pulls me in, makes me want to play the second one, which I already did. And the visual flair to it, like the visuals itself, is just damn right beautiful. The music is also top notch, in my opinion. I really love the music. And the cons is the frame rate. That's my only con about it. The frame rate holds it back a little bit, but you can still get through the game, even with the frame rate problem. See? So out of 10, The Wolf Among Us. Episode 1, Faith, gets a 9 out of 10, based on my opinion, on what I say. It's a 9 out of 10. I'll be reviewing Wolf Among Us Episode 2, Smoke and Mirrors, uh, maybe a day or two from now. And I just really should say, buy this game. And when it comes out on disc, for those who don't have online internet, you still get the game. It's still amazing. For those who say, Telltale is not doing a good job, Telltale games are crap, like some people I know, they don't buy like these games. There's something must be wrong with you. If you don't like decision making, if you, if you don't like choices, I don't know what to say. I love these games. I love Telltale, in my opinion. I mean, Back to the Future was a solid game. Jurassic Park was... Uh, and Walking Dead just saved them. It saved them, and it did a great job. I just love this project, and I can't wait if they're going to do a sequel to like Season 2, like they did with The Walking Dead so far. So overall, 9 out of 10, a must-play I love it. I can't stop playing it. It's just fun. So, please, guys, like the video. Comment below. Subscribe. Tell me, do you like The Wolf Among Us? Did you read the Fable comics? Because I never did, actually, to be honest. But I still love this game overall. And would you... Um, I don't know. That's basically it. Do you like the comics? Would you? Uh, what would you give it out of 10, basically? You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter... And all the other stuff, Instagram, Vine. I'm, I don't really think I'm doing many videos on Vine, but I'm just trying to have, uh, satisfy people. So, bye guys. Uh, my next review will either be Wolf Among Us 2, Smoke and Mirrors, or Walking Dead, All That Remains. Either one, I'm still doing it tonight. Bye.